Shalom, Yasharala. This is Yeshaya with a quick car. Well, maybe not quick. <coughs> so, uh, uh, Romans 12 and 10, I wanted to read. Romans 12 and 10. Uh, Be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love in honor, preferring one another. So, I wanted to read that scripture because that's. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's the opposite of what I see in Israel, to be honest with y'all. I, I don't I don't see that in the nation whatsoever. Uh not not whatsoever. I see it, but I don't see it the way the way it's worded as much. You know, brothers seem to be against each other in this truth. Brothers seem to hate each other. Oh, <laughs> And we, we gotta we gotta get that that spirit of hate out, man, towards one another. When somebody comes up to camp and and, and is listening, and we want to teach them, right? We we call them brother, we call them sister. They might be smoking a cigarette, they might be doing something, or you know, inebriated or whatever. They they might be doing a, a bunch of sins they might stop to listen while they're holding another nigga wife hands you know they might be doing a lot of a lot of things but we treat them like brother and sister we call them you know we, we embrace them right because they're a new potential servant of the lord you know but when it comes down to brothers in other camps How's that treatment? You know, how do we treat brothers that, that might be passing by from a different camp? You know, or or, or you walk in, in your travels, in your travels, you see a, a man from a different camp and <clears throat> what do you say to him? Nothing. Or, or you get into an argument about something scriptural or you try to start one you know me personally I'm happy anytime I see any Israelite the only time I'm not happy is when I greet the Israelite and am not greeted back with, with love because I damn sure have love for every Israelite out there even I see GJC it's not that I'm not watching my back for him or, or you know being careful, circumspect, but I got love for all Israelites out there. And I, I don't I don't see why we don't have it. Like the scriptures tell you to be kind and, and, and affection towards one another. You know? Do you think that just talking about the same camp? Oh yeah. I only embrace or, or brothers with the quote unquote same doctrine. What's the doctrine, by the way? Because there's other camps out there that, that teach the law, statutes, and commandments. I think in, in, in many cases, the only difference in doctrine, now mind you, I'm, I'm using the word doctrine, right? As far as the doctrine, we're actually almost all the same. What camp, said, what camp tells you not to keep the Sabbath? Keep the Sabbath holy. What camp tells you not to? What camp tells you that it's okay to be a sodomite? What camp tells you that uh, not to keep the holy days? Like, what camp tells you uh, against what the scriptures actually say? Every single camp says it, and every single camp does it to to their understanding, to the best of their understanding. So the actual instructions, a.k.a. doctrine, is the same. You know, we we practice the, the new moon off, uh, the Sabbath off the new moon. You know, some of y'all might still be in that Friday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, but all of y'all are saying, keep the Sabbath holy. We're not that different. You know, the only, the only 
big difference is the chip. Oops, excuse me, did I say that? The only big difference is, is the C hip. That's really the only the only difference. And, and you know what? It, it is a, a substantial difference, but is it, it is is it substantial enough for me to to not treat a brother like a brother? That might be in another camp that, you know, same faith, striving for the same thing that I'm striving for. Is it is it that, because uh, maybe through, bro through being brotherly and being around a brother, maybe that'll make him get it. But no, we have this standoffish attitude towards all other camps. And that's all over Israel. There ain't no one camp doing it. You got some camps that are that that'll go as far as saying if you're not here, you're not of the Lord. You got camps that'll really say that shit. We got to get rid of that that fucking mentality, man. You really oh, y'all 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 gonna know who I'm talking about? Oh, these men in this video are trained professionals. Do not try this at home. You know, but where's the love? Where's the bearing the infirmities of the weak? Maybe the brothers are weak in knowledge of the scriptures. You know? I don't see that. I see brothers wanting to come at brothers and, and, and wanting to do videos disrespecting brothers. You know, oh, bitch ass, hoe ass, you know, whatever. Like, like throwing out insults that are not scriptural. If we're men of the scriptures, even our insults should be scriptural. You know, of course, we we, we update them. You know, we update them to, to the way insults are in 2024. But they should at least be scriptural insults that we're doing now. So in other words, the only, the only ho-ass nigga, the only time you should call somebody a ho-ass nigga is if they are acting like a hoe. Which means basically a sodomite. If a man's not a sodomite, you can't call him. You well, you shouldn't call him a hoe ass nigga. You shouldn't compare no man to no female, unless he exhibits traits of a female. Which basically you're saying that he's a sodomite, and by by that definition, he shouldn't be out there teaching anyway. He should be teaching teaching choir. Right? He should just be teaching choir in, in the Christian church. If 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 the if the man is really a bitch or a whole ass nigga or you know whatever. Like those insults are are to that magnitude. So you gotta even be careful how you insult brothers. And what puts you in a position to insult brothers? What makes you want to insult brothers? You know, like I was insulted the other day by a certain weeb, you know, but that's all in jest. It's all love. But we got we gotta we gotta love one another in this truth, man. Cause it's gonna boil down to a time where we all we got. Satan is gonna come at us all. You think Satan's just gonna come at your camp? Like you're the only camp that Satan hates? No, Satan hates us all. Satan hates us all. Here we are, a camp that teaches very calmly, very, you know, tells people to go by, go according to the laws of the land. Yet you got the fucking feds showing up at brothers' jobs and, and houses and apartments, fucking uh, questioning them like, like, motherfucker, you know damn well we are a peaceful group. The feds and all of the motherfuckers, you y'all know that we are a peaceful group that teaches the Bible. We're not violent. We don't tell people to get violent. Even the Israelites that are the most violent are only about self-defense. Trust me, because a couple of them them one well, one time, I'm not gonna exaggerate, one time a group of cops came at us to shut us down because some assholes got into it with us. We, we kind of had a, a yelling match across the street of scriptures 
and they threatened to lock us up if we didn't pack up and go. And it was younger brothers that had to tell me to chill. Cause I damn sure was ice grilling that fucking cop. You know, but then I had to realize, you know what? Israelites have a reputation for, for getting into shit. From telling the cops, I remember, I was there. I've done it. Times Square, Herald Square, oh, get me a sergeant. You, you can't tell me to move. I remember that. I've gotten into that. And that's not scriptural, man. Agree with the adversary quickly. Get the fuck out of there. He has all the all the fucking cards. Because that's part of moving in the spirit. Knowing who the fuck has all the cards. We'll have the time where, where we have all the cards. Trust me, our, our women will respect us. You know, because it's like, it's like <laughs> that's another thing. A whole nother subject. You know, motherfuckers are out there angry at the black woman. Listen, the black woman's going to get in line. And it ain't going to be something where you're going to have to beat her ass or nothing else. They're going to get in line. They're going to know who the fuck their master is. Black and Hispanic women, they are going to know who their lord is. Because right now, their lord is the white man. Their lord is who, who the fuck employs them who the fuck uh pays them benefits but it's like y'all y'all yell at them and, and scream at them and disrespect them like as if that's gonna get them to respect us that's gonna get them to submit to us or to do the right thing no that's not that's gonna make them worse that might get you locked up it got me locked up because i was in a camp with a brother teaching and then shit got wild. And then uh, I, I didn't lay a hand on the bitch, but she came back and pointed at me. Matter of fact, she got four men locked up that had that did not lay a hand on her. One of them spit back at her. And there was video of it. Thank the Lord for that brother Azariah from, uh, I forgot what camp he went now. He was with House of David at that time. Manessite brother. Um, but yeah, it's it's a uh, man. It's, it's it's deep, man. It's deep. When you really into this thing and you really love your people, and you really read the scriptures, you realize, like, yeah, you know, it, it's it's a. Uh, it's funny how we compare an emergency to the way we teach at camp. Oh yeah, if if uh if you're if you're drowning or or, or if you're about to get hit by a bus, you know I, I I'm gonna tell you very abruptly, very sharply to get out the way. You know, and, and it's funny because a few weeks ago I was with um my my daughter's family and. Her brother, her brother, you know, we were in a, in a water park in the in the the wave pool, right? And her brother was going kind of towards the a, li a little towards the deeper end, not deep. Like he wasn't going, you know. Her her brother is about three or four years old, <clears throat> and uh, man, and I ran to get him because I, you know, bro. And I was I was kind of yelling at him, but not like hostile. But I was like, "Don't go there," you know. And I ran to get him, to pick him up, bring him back to to the two foot or, or one foot high, because he's he's short. I mean, he's tall for his age, but he's short still. He's way shorter than me, you know what I mean? But you know, we we we, we don't we don't go out there and teach our people rebuke our people with love we, we rebuke our people with the anger of the world as if we weren't there before we rebuke our people with our anger towards our people not the lord's anger but our personal anger and tell me i'm lying really go out in the streets and teach our people the way you've been teaching them and tell me that you're angry for the lord no nigga you angry for yourself 
You angry because because these ignorant niggas got us still in slate in captivity. But be angry at yourself because at one point you were one of them. You know, that's what you, you brothers out here, all of us, we need to learn this. We need to understand this. Get out of that high and mighty mentality, motherfucker, because at, at one point you was just you were sinning just like one of these niggas. Shit, you and the truth, you're probably still sinning like one of these niggas. So what the fuck's the difference? Y'all are the same. Ain't, ain't no fucking difference. Just you know the truth. Actually, you get punished before the people you're cursing out. Because you know better. You know, but anyway, you know, that's the message for the day. Um, you know, we, we got to learn to love one another in this truth. It's not a, you know, it, it's not me being a so-called Christian or, or whatever. You know, the doctrine hasn't changed. Matter of fact, to be honest with you, I've been practicing that same that same scripture for the longest. Because like I said, I, I always get uh, happy when I see other Israelites. <clears throat> Until I see that they're, you know, one of those that has orders not to show love to no others or whatever. You know? But, uh, but even then, I get, I'm still a little happy because, you know, we got more brothers out here waking the people up. Might not be to the 100% message. They not they, they they might have a something wrong that they're doing but hey man listen. We all out here working, man. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom.